Hey, I'm Nick Valeski with Utah State University Extension's IPM program. Row covers are an effective form of mechanical control for integrated pest management. In agricultural use, row covers are a transparent or semi-transparent material used to cover the crop for various purposes. So my row covers are on top of weed barrier, but this can work in a field setting or a garden setting or even in raised beds. Row covers are a physical barrier to exclude pests such as insects, birds, or mammals from getting to your plants. There are a lot of material options available. Lightweight materials such as a non-woven spun-bound fabric work well as an insect barrier starting in mid to late spring. Thicker weight materials can be used to extend your growing season and protect your plants from an early or late frost. Another option is insect netting or plastic mesh. There's different grades and sizes available depending on the insect you're trying to exclude. When you're using a floating row cover to protect just against frost, it is most effective to lay it directly on the plant. However, for insect control, using a hoop system makes management and maintenance a whole lot easier. When constructing row covers, I like to use rebar. So depending on the size of your row, make sure the rebar are in equal intervals. Make sure your rebar sticks out about eight inches above the ground. So the rebar is gonna be used to support our PVC hoops. For my project, I'm gonna use about seven foot long PVC pipes, but depending on the crop you're trying to grow or how long you're gonna have the row hoops out there, the size can depend. You wanna make sure they stick on there all the way, and then you wanna carefully bend it to the other side as well. Okay, so the next step is to lay out the material you wanna use. I'm gonna be using an Agribond 15, which is a super lightweight spun bound material. But when you're laying it out, you wanna make sure it's a lot longer than the length of your row, so that way you're able to tie the ends up. So I'm gonna cut, so I'm gonna cut the row cover with some scissors. So I found that these jumbo binder clips work really well to attach any material to the PVC hoop. And typically I put one on the bottom, one on the top, and then one on the other side. And then depending how bad the wind is, you can always add more to help keep it more secure. So at the end of your hoops or the tunnel, it's super important to make sure both sides are completely covered. So with all this excess material, you wanna weigh it down with something, with another clip, a brick, or I just sometimes like to tie it in a knot. And then the idea is just to make sure it's completely covered. So wherever you're using row covers at, it's super important to secure the bottoms. So whether it's digging a trench and burying it, putting dirt on top of it, using sandbags, bricks, or some sort of rock, it's important to weigh it down to make sure your plants are completely covered. Floating row covers work best for insect pests that would come in from an outside source. This includes pests like aphids, white flies, and leaf hoppers as well as squash bugs, cucumber beetles, and grasshoppers. Other pests overwinter in the garden from areas where they fed last season. So if you do crop rotation, you can use row covers to protect those crops from last year's pests. These include Colorado potato beetles, tomato hornworms, flea beetles, and various root pests. If you have any questions about this or other integrated pest management methods, contact me or check out our website at utahpest.usu.edu.